Today we're here at Creech Air Force Base just outside of Las Vegas and we're working with RPA pilots and sensor operators teaching them how to fly high performance racing drones. So we've got a buddy box system here so both of these are connected to the same drone. I'm going to be able to take control back from you in case we get too close to those guys. <laughs> How he was flying the Racer 4 versus I was definitely night and day. I had struggled just to keep it in the air hovering. Flying was harder than expected. It gives you more appreciation for what they're doing, even though it didn't look easy to start with. That's not a natural feeling, so it was definitely difficult to pick up, um, but it was fun and challenging. Yeah, I think Lieutenant Ray did really well. In the scheme of things, you actually picked it up much quicker than most people do. They kept it smooth, and they were really quickly honing it on the controls to be able to race. All right, so for our final challenge of the day is you guys are gonna race heads up. We've got three different obstacles out here. The first person to land at each of them is the winner. So when you land at the third one, you are the victor. We got a trophy for whoever wins first. You guys ready to do it? Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Go. Mixed emotions going into the race. I wanted to go as fast as I could, but it was reassuring. Jet was on the other controls and could take it from me. I was about to break the drone, which I did. After we had the training, I felt a little bit more comfortable racing. I thought I was going to do horrible, and then I broke two, so... But I was able to do what I was supposed to do, though it wasn't very pretty. So, in honor of your victory, for you and your squadron, we got you a custom-made Air Force Racer 4. <laughs> Oh my God. That is super cool. Thank you. My pleasure. Congratulations. Thank you.